Hello, my bedtime book club friends. How are you today? Good. My name is Miss Heather. I'm with the Children's Museum of Green Bay and welcome to Bedtime Book Club. We're a book club because you out there, my kind, sweet, funny, silly, amazing friends, you pick all of the wonderful books that we read. And as long as you keep picking these books, I'm gonna keep reading them to you. Deal? Tonight's book is a book request. It's about a duck on a bike. I can't think of anything more silly or anything that makes me more happy. I love this book with all of my heart and I want to thank my sweet friend uh, that shared it with me tonight um, that I can share it with you. And please remember, if you love these books as much as we do, please add them to your libraries. Or maybe you have a friend who might like them too. Perfect gift. Just something to think about. Before we get started, I want to share with you a couple of things. Um, this month at the Children's Museum of Green Bay, we have some very special uh, storybook readings. One of them, the Wildlife Sanctuary is coming, Miss Kim, and she's going to bring a critter for our Critter Corner, um, and that'll be on a Wednesday morning. And you can find all of this information on our Facebook page. You can also follow me at Books with Miss Heather on Instagram and Facebook um, for all of this information. As well as um, at the end of the month, on August 31st, my very, very sweet friend, Tanya, who helps run Wilson's Wish, which is a farm that gives a second chance to animals, um, is going to come in with the goat Lily Beans. And Lily Beans does not um, have full use of her back legs, so she requires a, a wheelchair. So she is the most remarkable animal. Tanya is one of the most remarkable humans I've ever met. And I would love for you to come and join us for a special story time to meet them and to read a story about another goat who overcame some obstacles. So we would love to see you for, for those story times okay, at the museum. So check out um, the social media pages for all of the details on that. So for this book, my behind the pages, I actually was able to go visit with Tanya um, and meet Gary the duck who lives at Wilson's Wish. And he was quite the sweetheart and he did let me snuggle him a little bit. So um, I, you know how much I love animals. I know most of you love animals too. Um, it's just wonderful when we can do things for our two and four legged furry feathered friends. So thank you, Tanya, for taking time with me um, and letting me love up on your animals. All right, before we get started, I wanna share with you, come closer. I think that you are the most amazing human ever. I do. I think you are kind. I think you are smart. I think you have this amazing heart you are so lovable. I'm proud of you. You're funny. And you're all the things that are magical in this world. There is no one, absolutely positively no one on this earth, just like you. There's not. So please, always be you. Promise? I like you just the way you are. In fact, I love you just the way you are. True story. Be you, okay? Let's get started with our story, but we'll sing first. If you're ready to read the story, clap your hands. If you're ready to read the story, clap your hands. If you're ready to read the story, then you really want to hurry. If you're ready to read the story, clap your hands. If you're ready to read the story, please sit down. If you're ready to read the story, please sit down. If you're ready to read the story, then you'll really want to hurry. If you're ready to read the story, please sit down. Excellent job singing as always. And now we're ready to read. Here we go. Duck on a Bike. It's by David Shannon and our publisher is Scholastic. So again, thank you to them for allowing us to share this story with you. And again, if you like it as much as we do, please add it to your home library. There he is, duck. The duck's really on a bike. One day, down on the farm, duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike. He climbed on and he began to ride. 
At first he rode very slowly and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Do you have a bike? Do you ride it? Mm, me too. <gasps> what animal is this? A cow. What sound does a cow make? Moo. Very good. Duck rode past cow and waved to her. Hello, cow, said duck. Moo, said cow. But what she thought was, a duck on a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. A duck on a bike is pretty silly. What is this farm animal? A sheep. What sound does a sheep make? Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Duck rode past sheep. Hello, sheep, said Duck. Bah, said sheep. But what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Did you notice? Duck's not wearing a helmet either. She should always wear a helmet on a bike. Yeah. Duck was riding better now. He rode past... What's this guy? Doggy. Woof. Bark. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hello, dog, said Duck. Woof, said Dog. But what he thought was, This is a mighty neat trick. Oh boy, what is that? A cat. What sound do cats make? Meow. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time on riding a silly bike. Hmm. <laughs> Cats are known to be kind of lazy. Yeah. Oh boy. <gasps> what is that one? A horse. What sound do horses make? Nay. Very good. Duck pedaled a little faster and he rode past horse. Hello, horse, said Duck. Nay, said horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, duck. Hmm. The horse thinks he's super fast. I bet you can ride your bike super fast. Mm -hmm. If you want to. I know you can run super fast. Mm -hmm. Duck rang his bell as he rode towards chicken. I don't think chicken likes it. Hello, chicken, said duck. Said chicken, but what she thought was, Watch where you're going, duck! Oh, oh no, don't run the chicken over. I have never seen a duck ride a bike, have you? Never heard an animal talk either. Then duck rode past goat. Hello, goat, said duck. Ma, said goat, but what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Goat eating all the garbage. Goats typically will eat anything. Mm, yeah. Oh, what are these guys? Pigs. What sound does a pig make? Oink, oink. <laughs> yep. Duck stood on the seat and he rode past pig and pig. Two pigs. One, two. Two pigs. Hello, pigs, said Duck. Wink, said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show off. Oh, oh, who's this little guy? What is that? 
the little mouse. Mm -hmm. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Oh boy. That's a lot of children all wearing helmets. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on their bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and they went inside. Hmm. Oh boy, look at all of our farm friends watching. Watching the boys that walked in. How many farm friends did we meet? Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven farm friends. Yes, I was looking at my like, oh no, where did Mouse go? Mouse is right there hanging out. Yep. 11 firm friends total. What do you think they're thinking? Do you see? Do you see what I see? <gasps> now all of the animals had bikes. They rode around the barnyard. This is fun, they said. Good idea, Doc. Love that. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. I love this story. It was so silly. Like I said, I've never seen a duck on a bike and I've ne never heard an animal talk before, but this is one of my absolute favorites because I love the imagination and the fun and the silliness of it. And I hope that you have a bike and I hope that you ride your bike and enjoy every minute of every book that we read together. I do. Thank you for reading with me. Again, my name is Miss Heather. I'm with the Children's Museum of Green Bay. Before we go to bed tonight, can you make sure to, well, first and foremost, have the sweetest sleeps. Yeah, have sweet dreams. Put your pajamas on before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Nice and cozy. Uh, brush your teeth. Yeah, I love your beautiful smile. Please make sure to brush your teeth. 